Over time, those who were born with telepathic abilities were so ostracized they retreated to the uninhabited moon. The conditions were extremely hostile, but they formed a colony, and I was born there. The more telepaths bred with each other, the stronger their abilities grew. But some telepaths still bore children without abilities, and they felt they had no place. It was time to return home to Kolaris Prime, but we never imagined the war that would lead to. Your people didn't read the minds of the Kalari leaders? It doesn't work like that. To read a non-telepath, we have to be extremely close. Usually that means physically, but some bonds can form over distance with enough emotional connection. Bonding with a non-telepath was rare, but war changes everything. So what would they think of us? We expected to reintegrate into Kohari society with non-telepaths. They might be more shocked by your appearance than your lack of telepathic abilities. Not a lot of Kalari human dating? If we married, I believe we would be the first such pairing. So... Bonding with a non-telepath. What does that entail? I would teach you to access a deeper part of your mind and meet you there. It's a very intimate process. My people consider it lovemaking. What are your mouths for? Eating, just like humans. That's it? Non-telepathic members of my species speak. Do you... kiss? We've evolved to express affection and desire through psychic connection. So there's still something I could teach you. My people call it the intermediacy. It's a deeper level of your mind. Non-telepaths rarely ever develop the ability to access it without help. You're in my mind? We're in a space accessible only through the mind, but it does not exist. Your brain is creating this reality to put it into context it can understand. This is incredible. What happens now? If you're ready, we merge our consciousnesses. It may be very intense for you the first time, but I will keep you safe. 
Are you ready? Akiva? Akiva? 